Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm in Sofia, Bulgaria and I'm at the Boyan Church and I'll show you as much as I can. I don't think you can take pictures inside but I'll show you the outside and we have a tour guide that's going to talk to us. So, Tell us your name. Emi Theo. Meto. Emo Theo. Okay. You're a vlogger? YouTuber, yep, yep. YouTuber. Yep. Okay. I needed a better haircut in that. You look good. <laughs> Thank you. You have to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. For you. Uh, if you want to let you know, there are postcards. Okay. You can make better pictures. With, with postcards. postcards. Okay. That you have pictures of Boyan Church. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's... I wait for the others to come and I will explain something. I'll go take a picture of the board. So this is it. The Monument of Culture. And this is Boyan Church. Um, it was built in the 10th century, 11th century, blah, blah, blah. The neat thing about this is there's still art that you can see um, inside. Um, this Most Holy Church of Christ, Priest and uh, built in the Zealous and Labor, okay. Hit pause if you need to. And it's small. It only allows like 10 people in at one time. Um, and it costs 10 leva to get in. So it's pretty tight. But it is a World Heritage Site. Uh, how many of you want to go inside I do. And here's what it says about this. So it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Boyan Church has been inscribed in 1979 upon the World Heritage List of the okay. Come with me. Uh, Come with me. Uh, I will separate the group in four. I will show you where is the ticket office. Ten level per person, two level if you rested. Wow, look at that tree. And uh, that people that they get for paid tickets for Boyana Church, there are two of them. Um, Please stay on the marked path. Yeah, and I bet this is the ticket office up here maybe. What does this say? Oh, ticket office, guided souvenirs, ticket office. Let's go to the ticket office. I'll be back. Okay, so I got the ticket and it's 10 leve and they really want you to pay in cash, not in credit card, just because it takes too long to get all these people in through this site. But uh, I guess this is the church right here, the World Heritage UNESCO site. Um, and again, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get inside and take pictures or anything else of the frescoes and stuff. Um, I can't even imagine you'd be able to read that, but... And I think that says UNESCO World Heritage Site here, too. Monument included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site, 1979. So this has been in the World Heritage Site for a long time, which is pretty amazing. Wow. It's certainly kind of an interesting little church. But we might as well walk all the way around it, huh? Because that might, might be the only part you get to see is around it. Uh, some kind of grave or crypt here. We'll walk around that. Huh. Okay. And a graveyard too. That's an amazing tree there. But I think this is the entrance right here, maybe, huh? It doesn't open, so I don't know about that, so... I guess we have to wait for him. I don't know of any other place you can enter at. Unless you go upstairs, maybe. Yeah, I don't have any idea. Huh. 
Boyan Church, Sofia, Bulgaria, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Maybe it is up the stairs or something, I don't know. Hmm. How you doing? What does this sign say? This one says, wait here after purchasing ticket for admission. Um, for admission and lecture, only persons are allowed inside at one time. Duration is stay for 10 minutes. Um, the consumption of food and drink within the park is prohibited. So, very cool. Okay, I guess we're waiting for the guy. Is this the entrance or is it up the stairs? It's the entrance here. If you see, there are also stairs, but we are going only from that. Oh, only from this one, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's upstairs. It's closed. Uh, the second church there is closed permanently. Okay. Drasti, I'm going to go to the church. Okay, okay. I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to go to the Добре, ми трябва да им обясна на ново тогава. Окей, гай. There is another reservation for 10.50. So that's why I will... You will go with me, the first group. After that, the second group. So at first, I will guide you inside and after that, outside. Окей? Окей. I will explain the thing to the other two. Ah, another group. Hmm. Okay, everybody. I guess I will be back if possible. So again, they only let 10 people in at a time, and it really is tight. And you can see the line here, and they have tours coming at certain times. So it's kind of a, a tight situation. So I think coming on your own is kind of a tough one. So, but... Uh, Anyway, the Boyan Church, the art inside is absolutely phenomenal. It even shows Jesus at 12 years old. Pretty amazing. Very cool, very cool. Okay, everybody, moving on. Bye-bye. So it's really small little you know, tiny, tiny, tiny little entrance. And the church inside is absolutely crazy amazing with all the frescoes. All the way back from the 1000th or 11th century. So, uh, you know, what is that? Uh, 1300 years old and the frescoes are still originals. Pretty crazy. And the line is crazy. They only let 10 in at a time. Amazing. If you have patience, I will explain something also for the church outside. Uh, always I start uh, speaking about the church outside, but because of another reservation behind us, with 40 people more. Yeah, now the church is so busy place. That's the ironic. Very, very tiny. So many people. Now, come with me, all of you. I thank you that uh, you wait for me. That place is better because from here you can see exactly the three di different time periods of the church. Mm -hmm. Because when we were inside, I spoke something about 11th, something about uh, 13th century, something about 19th century. That century I skip it. <laughs> uh, now, if you look at the church, the first part of the church is over there in the beginning of 11th century, and you can see that it is only with the bricks. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Dedicated to Saint Nico. The second part of the church, where uh, you saw exactly that interesting uh, murals of the walk of Feldau and the Bulgarian king, as you see, stones and between the stones, the bricks. Like uh, we spoke oh, inside, that marble stones that you can see, they were taken from the ancient city of Serdik. The people, they didn't care about the ancient stuff, and they had that material, so okay, let's reuse them. So, recycling. <laughs> But here you can see that there is a second floor of uh, that church. And the second floor is dedicated to another saint. So we have two churches into one. Many people, they can tell that this is like a Georgian style of church. And yes, in Bulgaria, we have Georgian style of churches. Because when the Eastern Roman Empire captured the Bulgarian kingdoms in the beginning of the 11th century, they were so afraid of uh, uh, uprisings of the Bulgarian nobles. So that's why they moved Bulgarian nobles to Georgia and Georgian people here. So that's why we have exactly Georgian 
churches here. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the second biggest monastery in Bulgaria, Bachko Monastery, you can see that uh, that monastery, St. Archangels, it's exactly on two different forms. But I want to tell you, what is the difference between the Georgian style church? The Georgian style, the first four, it's the crypt, where they buried exactly the monks and the priests. And the second four, it's the main temple. And like I told you, here we speak about two different temples. The first one, first four dedicated to Nikos, the second to St. Pantalemon. So that's why there is now a thesis that there is a caste system. One church for the peasants mm -hmm. and another church for the work of Feudal and uh, for the king. Mm -hmm. So we didn't see the second uh, part because it's uh, not very well preserved. And uh, I want to tell that in my guiding experience of eight years, I've never been there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why, because we have to preserve the morals mm -hmm. below. So that's why no stepping. Outside. Only if you're a scientist and if you make PhD of Bojana Church, only in that case. <laughs> and the third part of the church, you can see stones and between the stones, the wood. Mm -hmm. So this is a technique that it is from 14th to 19th century. You can find it not only in Bulgaria and most of the Balkan Peninsula. And now, I have a question. Are there some engineers or architects here to explain me why there is a wood between the stones? Earthquakes? Perfect, Shifting. exactly for earthquakes. Wooden it is very flexible material, making the building very stable against earthquakes. So, primitive anti-shock system before the Japanese technology. <laughs> so that's why you can see how the people were very practical. Many people, they believe that people in medieval times, they were so stupid because they lost some technology. But no, I can tell that they were very practical. They were exactly very practical. As you see, every time they wanted to expand the church more and more for more believers. But the church still is very small, you saw. Just for 10 people and still we push ourselves. And that's why the workers in the beginning of 20th century, they wanted to destroy that church, to demolish it, to build one uh, huge uh, temple. And that's why we have to thank to that lady there. This is the second wife of uh, Ferdinand I, Queen Eleonora. She saved the church. She gave another place for the workers to build their church. And after that, yeah, she saved the church. And uh, she heard so many uh, professors of fine arts, so many artists, just to explore the murals, not only from Bulgaria, but also from other countries. Mm -hmm. And all of them, they were so impressed of the murals. Like I told you, they are murals from 11, 13, 14, and uh, 19th century. Mm -hmm. That uh, layers from 19th century, they were removed just to see the other murals. Mm -hmm. And all of them, they were so impressed exactly how mm -hmm. it's the style. So that's why, like inside, mm -hmm. I thought that this is the Bulgarian renaissance and i want to tell that in the past because this is just a walkout church there were many churches like that one so if you go to north greece you can see also many examples like that church. but uh, because of uh, people they demolished building other churches or some churches they were transformed into mosques so that's why this is the one of the few uh, examples survived here and uh, from that church you can see from the murals we understand more how it looked like exactly the Bulgarian medieval culture, about the dresses, about the cuisine, all that thing. So that's why that church became a museum in uh, 1954 and became the first UNESCO site of Bulgaria. Wow. That's why for us it's a uh, uh, gem in the foothills of uh, Vitosha Mountain. And uh, the wish of the queen was to be buried here. So that's why she's close to, very close to the church. and. Uh, the seeds of that uh, North American sequoias, the redwoods, were put exactly uh, by uh, her husband, Ferdinand I, in 1908. So that's why now this is like a very peaceful park before the mountain. Now if you want, you can walk with me around the church and after that uh, I'll give you, let's say, uh, five minutes for toilets and if you want to buy postcards and uh, books. Like I told you, there are books in English, German, French, Spanish, other languages too. Depends on you.
When we were inside, this was exactly the altar. Shows you the east direction. Magnetic north. You know there is a difference between magnetic and geographic north. So magnetic north showing you always roughly 90 degrees. So that's why when you see a church in Bulgaria, Christian Orthodox Church, when you see the house circle, you know east direction, magnetic north. Now come with me on that side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A priest, a priest. This is very typical Christian grave that you saw there. Cross on the west side, feet, shows you exactly again the direction. So, we can see that church from 11th century, and here you can see exactly the separation between the first and the second part. And Another very good example of recycling. In the graveyard. Okay, thank you guys uh, for the patience. Again, I want to repeat toilets. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye.